that uh, want to participate in coaching and also a lot of the college coaches get involved too. I believe they've been in existence for 60 years. So not a flash in the pan type of organization. These guys have a lot of street cred for lack of a better word. Lloyd's kick taken at the goal line. Reversing fields here to the 40 and then knocked out of bounds. And that was a Chad Bumpus on the return. Got to see the speed of Roderick Sweeting too. Bumpus accelerated, comes up the middle, swings around to the left and gets to accelerate. But then we also got to see Sweeting who's had a very good night from his cornerback and now special teams position, close the gap on him and make the tackle. So we are under five minutes to play. 29 to three, the East leading the West. And Chris Garrett back onto the field for the West offense. The LSU commit. Tupelo, Mississippi. Played at Tupelo High School along with Chad Bumpus as we've talked about throughout the evening. Garrett will throw the football. Deflected and knocked down. The big paw of Kwame Gathers again. Boy, he's had a big game tonight. And if he had had any more time, if he'd held on to the ball any longer, Jack Lippert coming off the end would have had a shot at him too. So that, that defensive line is just killing him. But you see them try and chip and even maybe a little bit of hold on Gathers and that six foot six frame of his, he's able, and one of the things I've seen him do and, and been able to see all night He's getting his hands up in a hurry too. So not only is he is he getting in the spot, he's making sure he's becoming about 11 feet tall by the time he puts his hands up. Garrett works out of the shotgun. Pressure once again, and he is brought down. In on the stop, Andre Civil, the defensive end from Brooklyn, who's headed to Rutgers next year. Two players in this game headed to Rutgers. Him and, and Abdul Garrett Smith, the cornerback, have had good nights. Civil's had a great Andre week of practice coming Sibble. off the end. Watching them, I wasn't sure how good the, the offensive line was going to be for the East, working against that defensive line of the East, because the ends, specifically Civil and, uh, and Rodriguez, and then Kwame Brown coming up the middle, were really taking it out on the East offensive line. But I think what this game has shown us is that defensive line for the East is just that good. Third down and 23 with 330 to play just about. Garrett under center this time. Little draw play looks like here across the 30 lowers his shoulder to the 42 yard line close to the original line of scrimmage. That's Jamal Miles out of Peoria Arizona. That was a great run by Miles. He got to show a little bit of everything headed to Arizona State. Nice lean body lean forward and sliding off some of those tackles keeping his feet under him where a lesser back would have had his feet clipped by some of those arm tackles. So nice run by Mr. Miles. They'll kick it away here. Ewald will. On fourth and 12. And the kick will go to Chris Fields, who will call for a fair catch. Catch made at the 23. The East offense will take over with 2.30 to play. We'll stick around for the MVP announcement of the offense defense bowl the all American bowl at this point who do you think uh, might get it. I think you could go defense you could say someone like maybe Kwame gathers or uh, maybe even Mike Gilliard How about Ryan Reardon. Well I don't think the West guy is going to get it but uh, if they're naming two, Ryan Reardon might be a, a, a good decision.
Roberts. And again, if you'd like to find out more about the offense defense camps and their centenary at Oral Roberts, it's O D.com. So we've talked a lot about offense defense. For the moms and dads out there, you want to get your kid involved. Starts at the age of five, folks. They get them together, and there's all kinds of different camps coming to a city near you. There's nearly 100 camps throughout the summer. And really, it begins in the spring all the way almost up until the fall when uh, football begins for most high schools. But uh, nearly 100 camps for all different age levels. O-D.com. And professional players are part of that, professional coaches from the NFL, and uh, highly recruited uh, kids that uh, want to participate in coaching, and also a lot of the college coaches get involved too. I believe they've been in existence for 60 years. So not a flash in the pan type of organization. These guys have a lot of street cred, for lack of a better word. Lloyd's kick taken at the goal line. Reversing fields here to the 40 and then knocked out of bounds. And that was a Chad Bumpus on the return. Got to see the speed of Roderick Sweeting too. Bumpus accelerated, comes up the middle, swings around to the left and gets to accelerate, but then we also got to see Sweeting, who's had a very good night from his cornerback and now special teams position, close the gap on him and make the tackle. So we are under five minutes to play. 29 to three, the East leading the West. And Chris Garrett back onto the field for the West offense. The LSU commit. Tupelo, Mississippi. Played at Tupelo High School along with Chad Bumpus, as we've talked about throughout the evening. Garrett will throw the football. Deflected and knocked down. The big paw of Kwame Gathers again. Boy, he's had a big game tonight. And if he had had any more time, if he'd held on to the ball any longer, Jack Lippert coming off the end would have had a shot at him too. So that, that defensive line is just killing him. But you see them try and chip and even maybe a little bit of hold on gathers and that six foot six frame of his he's able and one of the things i've seen him do and, and been able to see all night is he's getting his hands up in a hurry too so not only is he is he getting in the spot he's making sure he's becoming about 11 feet tall by the time he puts his hands up garrett works out of the shotgun pressure once again and he is brought down in on the stop, Andre Civil, the defensive end from Brooklyn, who's headed to Rutgers next year. Two players in this game headed to Rutgers. Him and, and Abdul Derek Smith, the cornerback, have had good nights. Civil's had a great week of practice coming Sibble. off the end. Watching them, I wasn't sure how good the, the offensive line was going to be for the East, working against that defensive line of the East, because the ends, specifically Civil and, uh, and Rodriguez, and then Kwame Brown coming up the middle, were really taking it out on the East offensive line. But I think what this game has shown us is that defensive line for the East is just that good. Third down and 23 with 3.30 to play, just about. Garrett under center this time. Little draw play looks like here across the 30, lowers his shoulder to the 42 yard line. Close to the original line of scrimmage, that's Jamal Miles out of Peoria, Arizona. That was a great run by Miles. He got to show a little bit of everything. Headed to Arizona State. Nice lean, body lean forward and sliding off some of those tackles, keeping his feet under him where a lesser back would have had his feet clipped by some of those arm tackles. So nice run by Mr. Miles. They'll kick it away here. Ewald will. On fourth and 12. And the kick will go to Chris Fields, who will call for a fair catch. Catch made at the 23. The East offense will take over with 2.30 to play. We'll stick around for the MVP announcement of the offense-defense bowl, the All-American Bowl. At this point, who do you think uh, might get it? I think you could go defense. You could say someone like maybe Kwame Gathers or uh, maybe even Mike Gilliard. How about Ryan Reardon? 
Well, I don't think the West guy's going to get it, but uh, if they're naming two, Ryan Reardon might be a, a, a good decision. But I might check, pick one of the defensive guys pitching that three-point that three-point game out there, and I'd probably go with Gethers or Gilliard. Probably would go with Demond Dennis. He's had a good game too, as well, out of the backfield for the East Come offense. On, no the carry that time by Lonnie Pryor out of Okeechobee, Florida. Darius Moffitt, the linebacker from Chicago, Illinois, and Hubbard High School with the stop. Just over two minutes to play as we wind down the All-American Bowl. of the 40 yard line is Fields. Chris Fields showing that speed on the reverse and uh, as we talked about earlier in the, in the in the broadcast is he's not as pure a wide receiver as Stedman Bailey or Michael Bowman or Stephen Hill but he's faster than all of them. So you find different ways to get him the ball on the reverse punt returns kick returns. So when he gets out in the open field he's gone. 140 to play. Movement on the left side defensively and let's see if it goes on the right side of the offensive line that was Kevin Young the defensive tackle out of Olathe Kansas. Kevin plays defensive end out here but he's got one of those frames where he's so wide in the shoulders and through the hips and legs that he could one day play inside and play defensive tackle for Nebraska right now is listed as a defensive end on scout but one of those guys that could end up putting on 40 or 50 pounds on a 6 3 frame and, and and moving inside a notch. Handshakes all around on both sidelines, even though the West has been dominated tonight. They trail 29 3. Over the middle. Watch out. Can he split him? Still on his feet and spinning ahead, Stephen Hill. Well, the East might not be ready to be done scoring. Little slant route for Stephen Hill. Ball was put right on the money by Eugene Smith. You see Stephen Hill coming into the picture, catching the ball just a little bit behind him. And then he picks up another 15 yard or so. Breaks one tackle there, another there. Big receivers, long strides, you gotta love them. Under a minute and a half to go here on Fox College Sports, the offense, defense, All-American Bowl. Smith wants to throw to the outside. He goes. Larry Raper. Clock will continue to roll. Yeah, it was Fields on a little out route, catching the ball on a little five-yard out. And good tackle on that, or else he makes one more cut up the field, and he's that's for touchdown. Young and Reardon in on the stop defensively for the West. 60 seconds to play. Gatorade bath on Coach Carr. So he just got doused with ice water on the sidelines. Handoff this time to the outside. And inside the 10, knocked out of bounds at the six yard line. Good run by Lonnie Pryor again. And there's the, uh, the bath for Gerald Carr. Pryor showing that outside speed that we've talked about, not the between the tackles guy that Demon Dennis is, but that outside speed and acceleration. Will they take a knee here, or are they going to try to punch it in one more time? 28 seconds to play. They're sure acting like they want to try and get another one. Dan, there seems to be a lot of uh, a lot of hustle in the huddle right now. Now a flag will fly and it should be a uh, delay of game on well, their hustling to take a delay in the victory formation. So they got me fooled too. So 12 seconds to play. Lead of 26. Gerald Carr. Watch out. <laughs> They take a knee and that'll do it. Will Farrell, always the prankster. <laughs> Gerald Carr, we talked to him this morning, really wanted to win this game and they have done that. 29 to three in the offense defense bowl here on Fox College Sports.
Jerry Rice or thanks to him for stopping by. And we had a lot of fun tonight. The offense defense bowl 2009 from Myrtle Beach for Scott Kennedy Ashley Hoyer our entire crew. Thanks for being with us. I'm Dan McLaughlin. So long. Don't forget Centenary and Oral Roberts College Basketball coming up next on Fox College Sports. That's my call waiting. Can you hold? Sure, no problem. Where are you, man? These tax forms are killing me. And they're expensive. Dude, prepare yourself. File your return with TaxSlayer.com. Tax what? TaxSlayer.com. TaxSlayer? I got layers. Dude. Layers of receipts, Slayer. layers of IRS forms. Slayer, like slay the dragon. Tax Slayer. Slayer. <laughs> you the link yesterday. They make it so easy to prepare yourself. They have free online support. I can do my state and federal for free? Yep, and they guarantee a maximum refund. In fact, you can e-file for just $9.95. Mm -hmm. Taxslayer.com. I just got a new homepage. Taxslayer.com. Prepare yourself! We were just getting ready to go fishing, and uh, the Fire Energy's in that little stand by the cash register. I bought about four or five of them. Me and all my buddies took them. The next thing you know, it's four o'clock in the morning. We're out in the lake and we're fishing. You know, we're still fishing and we're still catching fish, and it kept us wide awake. You react a lot faster. Your eyes are wide open. You're paying a lot more attention to what's going on, and I just think it really helps out when I'm racing my car. Paul, the thing I like about Fire Air Energy, no crashes. Steve, I'll tell you one thing. This family doesn't like crashes. <laughs> Fire Air Energy. I use it. I love it. Ooh. That was good. I'm Callie Lewis, host and co-producer of GeekReef.tv. It's a video podcast that delivers tech news. We've grown to one and a half million downloads per month. GoDaddy.com has such low prices and great service. It's very easy to use GoDaddy. When I want to register a domain name, I'll type in GoDaddy.com. I have about 45 domain names right now, and it's a lot of fun. Just go to GoDaddy.com. I'm always on to GoDaddy. Due to the length of the previous program, we now join the following program already in progress on Fox College Sports. That was awesome. Am I ready for well, the sidelines? You are ready. Yes, yes, yes. All right, well, I'm ready for the sidelines. Ken's off to see another USC personality. All right, so I didn't get to hang out with the song girls, but I do get to hang out with one of USC's proud family members. It's the mascot, Traveler. He's probably the biggest celebrity here at USC, isn't that correct? You bet. He's the one that's been there for, since 1961, they've had a horse as a mascot, and uh, Traveler's uh, probably the, the most famous mascot across the country. He likes to, uh, we have a, like a little thing that we do here. Um, when walking down the tunnel or whatever, he actually tends to poop about three or four times. That, that means that, that's how many touchdowns SC will score. Both Tell me about the thing. thrill of riding this beautiful. Yeah, it's a, it's, a big, it's a big thrill, obviously. It's a big charge you know, in front of 90,000 people and stuff and just getting that adrenaline surge and everything going. So it's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Oh. He's just saying uh, thank you.